EDC pouches and EDC kits have become somewhat of a thing over the last couple of years. And for good reason, because they are genuinely one of the best things and most useful things that you can add to your daily carry to make your life easier. And that's what we're talking about today, because what I've done is I've put together a very nice little budget UK legal EDC kit that will essentially get you out of any little situation you need to get out of in a pinch on a daily basis. Before we dive into the video properly, I just want to preface the fact that this isn't designed to be a very big, hard use, heavy hitting toolkit. I've put this together to essentially just be a daily carry, pocketable, get me out of trouble pouch. And yes, it does look fairly chunky, but this is a small pouch. It will still fit in trouser pockets. It might be tight, so I would recommend either carrying this in a jacket pocket, especially this time of year where it's getting colder, you're layering up more, you've got more pockets, you've got extra space to spare for pouches and extra gear. And chucking this in a jacket pocket is really not gonna make any difference to you. It's just gonna weigh you down a tiny little bit. But if you've got a bag, like a sling bag or an EDC pack, chuck this in there and you genuinely will not notice it. So first and foremost, the pouch itself. This pouch is the Alpaca Gear Hub Pouch and I have a few of these. They're a really, really great size. If you haven't packed these up too full like this one is, they are great for a pocket. They're not actually that big. They're smaller than some phones, about the same size as some wallets. So they are designed perfectly for pockets. It's made out of our Packer Gear's very well-known X-Pack material. And this version is the hook and loop version, which means that I've got Velcro on the front to be able to add any Ranger eyes or any Velcro hook and loop accessories that I may need. I believe they are YKK zippers. They're not water resistant, but that doesn't matter too much. When you unzip this, it opens up in a clamshell book style, which is really great because it means that all of your tools and accessories are laid out right in front of you, ready to take at any moment. The inside of this one, again, is just plain black with their X-Pack material and the same as any other pouch, pretty much got elastic dividers and little pockets here and there to be able to organize your gear nicely inside so it stays all put together and nice when the pouch is closed and when you open it you know exactly where everything is these are very very durable little pouches i've had this exact one now for about two years i've used it a lot it's been all over the world with me i haven't exactly looked after it there's not a single scuff on it not a single tear anything like that they are super, super durable. The only thing that has slightly changed is the fact that some of these elastics, depending on how big the things are that you put into them, they do kind of stretch and fray a little bit, but that's not the end of the world because even though a couple of them are stretched and frayed from having like pocket clips and stuff, they still work perfectly. So in terms of the knife that I've decided to keep in here, I have gone for Victorinox Pioneer in the Alox Aluminium, I believe it is, finish. I chose this one because it's a really nice little form factor. It's not too fat, has a knife on it. These aren't going to be used as your primary blade. Like the reason people have another blade inside their pouches is as a secondary blade. Say you forgot your primary carry, you know you've got a knife in your pouch. If you've got to cut something that you don't particularly want to get the residue of or any dirt of it on your primary blade, use the secondary blade and then you don't have to worry too much about cross-contamination if you're using your primary blade for stuff like food prep. So as you know, there's millions of Victorinox knives, but I just chose this one purely because like I said, the form factor is very, very slim. It takes up almost no room in the pouch and being a Victorinox, you know that the knife itself is always gonna be razor sharp and it's not gonna let you down. And it does have its extra uses because this one does have Phillips head screwdriver, flat head screwdriver, the scraper tool, pry bar, bottle opener, can opener, you name it. It has those things inside this tiny little form factor. And they're super cheap. I think I paid around 25 to 30 pounds for it. Next up, we'll talk about the multi-tool that I chose for this pack. And I know the Victorinox is essentially a multi-tool, but what I've chosen is the Next Tool flagship mini. And the reason I chose this as the multi-tool for this pouch is because it has those extra multi-tool functionalities that that Victorinox Pioneer doesn't have, because it has scissors, pliers, and a couple of other bits on there but I seriously cannot fault this little tool from Next Tool. It's around 30 pounds and for that price, you're getting one of the best mini multi-tools that you can get on the market. Spring-loaded pliers, scissors that are the same size as the pliers and very, very capable. And then your standard screwdrivers, prying tools, bottle openers, can openers and all that other stuff. So this is essentially in this pouch 
for the scissors and pliers. They're not obviously going to be able to do very big tasks like I said, but in a pinch the pliers on this multi-tool are fantastic. Next up, the flashlight that I've added to this kit. And the flashlight that I have added to this kit is the Phoenix E12 V3. This is honestly a great little flashlight powered by a AA battery. It's got three different outputs, starting from five lumens, working the way up to 200 lumens, which works perfectly for almost anything you're gonna really need on a daily basis. Nice tactical rear tail switch that is also magnetic, which is super, super helpful. And it does have, as standard, which is kind of an essential now in flashlights, the nice deep carry reversible pocket clip. These go for about 30 pounds and you can get them on Amazon, super nice and simple, nice and cheap. And for the price, I don't think you're gonna get much that's better in such a small form factor. The lighter is something that is pretty standard in any EDC kit. They're super useful for anything, even if you're not a smoker. And I've just got hundreds of lighters laying around the house. So I don't really pick and choose whichever, like, I kind of just pick one up and chuck it in a kit when I need it. And the one that I've got in here right now is the Cricut lighter. It's not refillable or anything special like that, but the action on them, if you're gonna talk about action on a lighter, the action on this for a cheap lighter is very nice. You can pick these up for probably less than a pound and they do generally work very, very well. And then I've just got wrapped around it a roll of duct tape because that's always a useful thing to have with you at all times. Fire starting, taping things up, ish, duct tape is endlessly useful. So having a firelighting source with some duct tape is always a fantastic idea. Moving on to the pens I've decided to add to this carry. And yes, pens with a plural because I just couldn't decide between the two. One carries black ink, one carries blue ink. You never know how you're going to feel on the day. And they're both so small that they fit in this pouch with no issues at all. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Silver Fox Tools Neo Pen. This is a new pen from Silver Fox Tools, only just released on Kickstarter a few weeks ago. And I believe it's already closed and they absolutely smashed their £2,000 goal. I think they got like 15 grand in contributors, which is fantastic. Because this pen generally is great. When I was speaking to the guys at Silver Fox, they said that they believe that this little pen is going to be the Fisher Space Killer. And i got to say, I think I could agree with them. Nice and simple to use, super small form factor. This one is the titanium one. You just screw off the top, flip it over, and with the magnets on the top of the cap, magnetize it to the back of the pen, which then gives you an extra inch or so on the back of the pen to make it more comfortable in your hand while you're writing. And when you're done writing, snap it off and screw it back on the front, nice and easy. Put it back in your pouch, back in your pocket, wherever you want it to go. And genuinely, it's a solid little design. Cannot fault it at all. It's a great little pen for daily carry needs. And the next one, you'll all know this. Big idea design mini bolt action. This is also in titanium. This is the one with the black ink. And I, just, I love this pen. I, I, I have no faults with this pen. Other than the fact that sometimes it can close up on itself if you accidentally push the bolt just because the way it's designed. But if you keep your, your fingers out of the way, then you, you ain't gonna have anything to worry about. It might just be because of the fact that I'm left-handed and how I'm holding it. It's not a big deal. This is also a fantastic little pen and no issues at all. On to the last little couple of bits. Zip ties, they're a must in any EDC kit for any kind of uses that you can have. You can use one or you can put them together and have six. They're just the most handy thing alongside duct tape to have in any kit. So a few cheap zip ties held together with an elastic band, chuck them in the kit and you'll be eternally grateful when you decide to do this. And then onto something I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about by now and that is my old trusty titanium spork. They are probably one of my most used EDC pieces of gear. I travel a lot for work, I'm always in a round and about in the car, eating fast food, getting takeouts while I'm out on the road. And with that comes shitty cardboard or plastic cutlery that you couldn't cut a fart with. So bought one of these, or I actually bought a few of these titanium sporks to keep in different kits. They're like four pounds and genuinely irreplaceable. I, I'm never gonna go without a titanium spork in my kits now because they just make life on the road a lot easier. And then the last thing in the main part of the pouch is just some standard plasters or band-aids couple of different sizes just in case you cut yourself differently they take up literally no space at all and i don't need to hype up band-aids or plasters everyone knows how useful they are that does it for the inside of the pouch 
Last thing to talk about is what I keep in the little front zipper pocket on the front of the pouch. This could have multiple uses, but what I found for myself, something that's quite useful to keep in here is business cards. When I'm out and about, I quite often get asked if I've got business cards and for a long time, I didn't carry any with me. So I just thought I'm gonna stick some in the front of my pouch and then when someone asks me, I'm always gonna have my ADC pouch with me, whip one out, give it to them and hopefully make some money. And then just behind those cards, I just keep a little bit of cash because cash is always useful no matter what the government tells you. Cash is king. And that is it. That is my little UK friendly EDC get me out of trouble pouch. It's nice and budget. This whole pouch set up all together probably costs less than £150. And for that price to get all of the usability that you get from everything in here, I think is more than justified. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this pouch. Let me know if there's anything that you'd swap out and change in here if I've missed something that you need in your daily life. But all of these tools combined, I think work very, very well as a daily get me out of trouble kit. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're not already, hit that notification bell as well so you get notified whenever I upload another video. And until next time, I'll see you later.